Hey, everybody. Welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. I'm here with my bestie, Mandy. And I'm here with my bestie, Jessica. So today we are going to do the newbie book tag uh, for YouTube. So we've had our channel for about two months now. And so we've really gotten, like, we've gotten a good foundation and we kind of know, think we know what we're talking about at least. And so we wanted to do this um, newbie book tag just to get the word out that we're here. And um, it's, it should be fun. But before we get started with that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And remember that we are giving away um, the Candy Steiner Bell Book, Enough, Bell Book Edition of um, Make Me Hate You. Okay, so this is signed by the author. You can see it right there. Um, it, it Since it's the Bell Book Edition, Bell Book Box Edition, you cannot purchase it, but it does have the um, sprayed edges. And so we have one that we are giving away. We will draw a um, name of one of our subscribers when we hit 100. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment, especially if your uh, account is set to private so that we can see who you are. Because if it's set to private, we can't see who you are. So I don't even care. It could be an emoji. I don't care. Just leave it below. And we'll do that as soon as we hit 100 subscribers. Yes. So... This is part of our Road to 1K giveaway, though. So we have lots more giveaways planned as we work to getting 1,000 followers. Yeah, we're excited. So this is fun. Okay, are you ready for question number one? I feel the pressure. But yeah, I'm ready. Why did you start this channel? Um, Because you called me <laughs> and made me. <laughs> so Mandy and I, I've been reading for a while and Mandy really got started in it about a year ago, like getting back into it. And she called one day. She's like, there has to be something that we can do that's fun. We have no friends that read what we read, really. I have like two or three at the most. And, um, you know, she's like, let's, let's do this. So we wanted to do this to make new friends and have people to talk to and just be able to talk to more than just each other. Yes, because we are sending each other a lot of Marco Polos. So we just kind of wanted to become part of the book community and be able mm -hmm. to talk to other people and just form some new friendships. Yeah. All based around books, of course. Yes. Love it. Question two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Um, us. You're getting us. You're getting our, our relationship. personalities. <laughs> it's us. It's our crazy personalities. Um, I think it's the relationship and the fact that you're getting both of us. We've been friends for more than, oh, I hate saying the number, <laughs> more than 25 years. Um, and so um, you have that relationship and that camaraderie between us and you're getting both of us on the channel, not just one, where a lot of, a lot that you see is, is the ones so you're getting two. So you're getting two times the fun, I guess. Yes. And we're not afraid to disagree with each other. I mean, every time Jessica wants to talk about her aliens, I can't stop laughing. So you get just <laughs> two people who really love books, but who also have different experiences and different likes and dislikes. Yeah, we definitely have different tastes. We both read the in romance, obviously, but we kind of, we, we just, we're just like this. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Sometimes we meet in the middle. Okay, question three. What are you most excited for about this new channel? Um, I think the the community meeting, making new connections, and then the ability to be able to go and do some of these trips that we're doing, uh, like our love in Seattle and love in Vegas. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's that is a huge benefit. And it's something we might have done had we not started this channel, but now that we have the channel, we definitely want to do that and vlog it and stuff. Yes. What do you think? I agree. I, I'm just excited to become part of the community and hopefully meet some new people and, you know, just get to talk about books. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Question four. Why do you love reading? It's my escape. I mean, I'm sure it is for you too, but it's, it's the escape. When I was going through like all of my, um, uh, my mastectomy and all my surgeries and stuff, that was, that was my escape. And I love it. It's a whole different world and it offers me more than what I can get on TV. I get to choose Definitely. what I want. Yeah, there's yes. like just more options. I have always loved reading. So I was a huge reader when I was a kid. And that kind of just went away for me, like after high school. And like, once I was in college, I just didn't really have the time to read as much. So I would read here and there. But I, I've always just really loved reading. There's something about a book where you just start to have all these feelings for these characters and like, I don't know. I just love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, question five. What book or series got you into reading? Um, there were two of them, and I can't remember which one came first. It was either Tilly Cole's Hades Hangman series, um, or it was Cora Riley's Born of Blood. But I can't remember which one came first, but I know they were roughly at the same time, and I devoured both. And then I was like, I need more. And then here we go. So as I said, I've always just loved reading, but, you know, college, marriage, kids just kind of took a backside. And so I really didn't get to read very much. And then I got COVID a little over a year ago and I watched the after movies that came out and there were only, I think, three out at the time. And I just really fell in love with those movies. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is based on a book series. So I ordered the book series and I just devoured it. And I'm like, why am I spending time in the evening like watching TV? I'd much rather be reading. And so my my obsession with reading just kind of started right then and there. And then I just went into the, I think I started the L. Kennedy series. And then you're like, hey, you need to read this, 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 and this. And then, mm -hmm. it just, yeah, it hasn't stopped. <laughs> Snowballed from there. Yes. Time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Um, I would want to know, like, if they could do this whole thing all over again, what would be one thing that you would change, like, from starting your channel and the whole thing? The whole, mm. like, start all the way back at square one. How about you? That's a good one. I would like to know what what is their favorite thing that they've gotten to do? Like, has it been a, meeting a particular author? Or what, is, what has it been? What was, what's been their highlight of it so far? Mm -hmm. The next question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Finding the camera. <laughs> because, <laughs> no, I'm seriously, though. No. There's times because when we're recording, I can, I, I can see you and you're over here on my screen. But my camera is over here. And it's finding that happy medium to know that I'm talking to the community when I want to look at you and talk to you. And it's it's a thing. Um, we also have a lot of technical issues that we've had to deal with over the last couple of months that I think still sometimes become a struggle. Um, I live on the border of um, Canada and the U.S. And my cell phone thinks that I'm in Canada when I'm in my bedroom. And it thinks that I'm in the U.S. when I'm in the front room. And so changing towers and stuff, it makes us freeze um so we we think we have the majority of those things nailed down but um that and then just you know you're we're trying to record two two different lives here and we're trying to find those times to record and we do a good job of it but we're both moms with three kids and we have full-time jobs and so finding that time to sit and be able to do our bulk recording sometimes we we work around things but things are always coming up Yes. Mm -hmm. I would say our biggest challenge has just been trying to get our video quality to where we want it. And so like our first videos don't have the quality that I wanted to see and I kind of became obsessed with it. So I've changed a ton of stuff on my end. I've changed how Jessica and I record. <laughs> and I think we're finally getting the video quality to where I'm happy with it. But like Jessica mm -hmm. said, there's just been some things we've had to work through. Um, but I think we're finally getting there. So I'm hoping like this has been our biggest obstacle. So our yeah. next challenge is just getting people to notice us and hopefully want to hear what we have to say and en enjoy us so we can get some subscribers and really yeah. get going with it now. Yeah. I also think too, the other thing that um, it came to me earlier today when I was thinking about this is that because we're two different lives and we're trying to like, you know, schedule at the same time, it's also you... It, like the benefit of having two of us is wonderful, but at the same time, there's two of us. And if one of us doesn't do the job that we've been assigned, then we're letting the other one down. You know, when it's just you and your channel, you do what you need to do, right? Because it's you. And if you drop the ball, then you've dropped the ball. But if I drop the ball, um, it doesn't just affect me, it affects Mandy. So that's another thing for us. It's not necessarily a challenge, but it's something we have to keep in mind. And because we've been friends for so long, it's not a thing with us, but it could be you know. True. So, yeah. Yeah. So the next question is, when did you start reading? And I think that we both already talked about that. Roughly. Yeah. I started reading um, in early 2020. Uh, I was never a reader at all. And so this 
reading and reading the amount that I do is insane. And my husband is a reader. He always wanted me to read with him and I never did. And then now that I'm reading, he never reads. I don't, I don't understand it. But yeah. Early 2020 is when I really started reading. Mine was January, 2022. So just over a year of like hardcore reading. Like I said, I've always been a reader, but the hardcore reading started then. And I just don't watch TV anymore or really scroll on my phone. So I feel like my time is more purposeful yeah. than what it used to be. Yep. 100%. So where do you read? That's the next question. Um, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. My primary reading spots are um, I read in bed a lot, like we'll sit in my bed and read. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, we've mentioned I had mastectomy and I had surgery. So I'm used to just relaxing on the bed all the time. And that's where I like to read. But um, when we go camping, I love to read in my hammock. That's really, I mean, those are the places. Yeah. So. I read everywhere. My Kindle goes everywhere with me. Mm -hmm. It fits right into my purse. So it goes everywhere I go. Um, I like, I live on a farm, so I like to go outside when it's nice and read out in my field, like take the goats out back into our woods and I'll bring a chair and they'll just munch around and I'll read there. Uh, if it's sunny out, I love to lay on the deck and read, but I read everywhere. What's that like? Your friend who's allergic to the sun, laying out <laughs> in the sun and reading. What's that like? Can you tell me what that's like? <laughs> it's wonderful just to be outside and... I love it. I'll read outside, but I've got to be under something. So it's just <laughs> sad. It's sad. I'm sad. I'm sorry. What kind of books do you like to read? That's our last question. Um, obviously romance. Um, but I, I lean way darker. Um, I'm more into the MCs and mafia and dark romance and the stalkers and the crazy. I do read a little historical once in a while if it's done right. I do like time travel um, if it's done right. And I like, um, I love my aliens. Um, and I love like um, survival type romances. But again, if they're done right, they're hard to find. I've gotten really picky. It's just sad. What about you? Um, so I obviously enjoy romance. Uh, I also don't mind a good mystery now and again. But in the romance genre specifically, I'm kind of all over the place. I really enjoy a good age gap. I like forbidden and taboo, but I don't stay in those darker themes like Jessica does. I'm kind of like all over. I'm definitely a mood reader. So I read just kind of all over. I could devour a great YA book one day and then read like a dirty MC book the next like I, I really am all over but if I had to pick my favorite trope it would probably be age gap but only age gap when it's done like with the angsty forbidden taboo type aspect yeah like birthday girl would be a good example for what I'm referring I knew to. you'd find a way to bring I had birthday to bring girl birthday into this girl video yes <laughs> Mandy and her birthday girl obsession um yeah yeah, you read more sports romance and stuff too than I do. Yeah, I have read some hockey, but interestingly enough, most of the hockey books that I read were all based off of recommendations from you. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of insight into us and our channel. Um, What do you want me to tell them, Mandy? Well, they need to subscribe, please. So you can yeah, they <laughs> turn into our drawing. <laughs> And make sure to check back Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays for more videos from us. And until then, go read. Go read. <laughs>